And now we can pour over the soup. Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Some Tin. Today I'm going to cook braised pork with kway teow soup. This portion is for one person. For this kway teow soup, it's very quick and simple. I don't need to use any pork stock or chicken stock. For the ingredients, I have about one and a half cup of kway teow noodles, about one cup of choy sam, one cup of bean sprout, some water, cilantro and spring onion for garnishing, one chili to eat with the kway teow, quarter teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of light soya sauce, quarter teaspoon of salt, three cloves of garlic chop. I have seven pieces of uh, mini pork balls and this is a braised pork that I have cooked. You can look out on how to cook this braised pork uh, slices from my other video. I will put the link down below this video as well. It's going to be very quick and simple. I like to start off with cooking the kway teow first. I have hot boiling water here. I'm going to serve. I'm going to just run through the kway teow or noodle in the hot water. All right, this is okay. I'm going to switch off the heat, and we're going to pour it over here. So we're going to leave our noodles here while we're cooking the soup. I'm going to heat up the pot and then put in about one tablespoon of garlic oil. If you don't have the garlic oil, you can use just normal oil, it's fine. So I'm going to pour in the garlic. We're going to fry the garlic until it's crispy, brown and nice fragrant. Alright, the garlic is ready and I'm going to switch off the heat and take it out from the pot first. I'm going to put the garlic and the garlic oil as well. Put it aside. In the same pot, I'm going to put in the water. About 400 ml of water. Switch on the heat. Put in salt. Light soy sauce. All the pepper and all the oyster sauce. This is going to be very simple. Just going to cover it a bit and bring it to boil. Soup is boiling, so I'm going to drop in all the pork ball. Put in a bit of garlic. Just cook for about one minute until the meatball is cooked. Alright, it's one minute, the meatball is cooked and then I'm going to taste it now. Mm. Very nice. So, the taste is alright, it's very tasty. And I'm going to put in the vegetable, put in the bean sprout. And the green vegetable. For the vegetable, you can put any vegetable that you have available in the house, right? Just going to wait for about 30 seconds until the vegetable is cooked. Vegetable, they cook very fast. We don't want to cook until they become so soft. So, this is done. I'm going to switch off the heat now. And then we can go and assemble our kway teow. So, the kway teow or the ho fan, right? Once we cook them and put them like that so they become like one lump like that. So, I'm going to put it inside the bowl first. And I'm going to pour over just a little bit of the soup. First. By putting in a little bit of soup first and then we can separate them so it won't be one lump like that. In the noodle, I'm putting in the garlic oil and the fried garlic. 
give a very nice fragrance to the noodles first. Okay. Nicely mixed. And then now I'm going to put in the meatball. Just want to separate the type of vegetable first. And then for this pork, right, it's already cooked, so we no need to cook, we just put it in. That's it. And now we can pour over the soup. Isn't that lovely? And now we can put in the rest of the garlic, fried garlic. And a bit of chili. Sprinkle some cilantro and spring onion. Then you have a very nice pork noodle soup. Lovely. Let's eat. It's delicious. The soup is flavorful and very nice fragrance of the fried garlic. For the meat, it's tender and it combines very well with the noodle soup. It's really nice. It's very simple to make and yet it's so delicious. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And remember to subscribe for more of my easy cooking like this. Thank you and bye-bye.